And a House committee heard testimony from investigators on allegations of misconduct by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Senior political reporter Jason Whiteley joins us live in Austin with Paxton's reaction today. Jason? Uh, Cynthia, this political situation, this political drama has really taken over the capital city right now. Everyone wondering late this afternoon, this evening, whether the House of Representatives behind us here might consider impeaching the Attorney General Ken Paxton, something that has not been done to a statewide official in more than a century. It was the House General Investigating Committee, as you said, that met today and did something that it rarely does. It held a public hearing and laid out, laid bare, really, the facts of an ongoing investigation. Five investigators, these are former state and federal prosecutors, gave new details about crimes they say the Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton committed. Investigators say Paxton abused his office and his authority just to help a donor. And when senior staff warned him about it, Paxton continued to do it anyway, they said. Those senior staffers then reported it to the FBI, and Paxton, as you probably remember from the headlines, either fired them or put them on leave. House investigators, though, say Paxton may have committed a dozen crimes now, including abuse of official capacity, official oppression, dereliction of duty, aiding and abetting, and conspiring to commit a crime. Here's the question tonight. After you lay all that stuff out and say that, that Paxton might have committed a dozen different crimes, what does the House do with that information? Attorney General Ken Paxton did respond on Twitter this afternoon. He said it is not surprising that a committee appointed by Liberal Speaker Dade Phelan would seek to disenfranchise Texas voters and sabotage my work as Attorney General. Every allegation, he said, is easily disproved, and I look forward to continuing my fight for conservative Texas values. Just reminder here that Paxton and Phelan are both Republicans. There's not one from a different party here, so it's Republican on Republican. The Speaker's office did text me about 90 minutes ago before we went on here saying that, look, we only started this investigation after Ken Paxton came to us, the House of Representatives, and asked us for $3.3 million. Paxton needs $3.3 million to settle a lawsuit with those senior staffers that he fired at this point. Five days left in the legislative session. No one's really sure what's going to happen next, but this is a story that has really captivated the Capitol tonight.